So Dr. Kim, how do we know if our habits with technology are unhealthy? What are some markers of that? No, I think it's so good we're talking about this because I really do think a lot of people fall in the same boat you are in and I was in, am in, and, and I think just because of COVID, we just did some things differently. And uh, so I, th I think it probably it's a time for all of us to evaluate it, no matter who we are, whether we think we have a problem or not, it'd be a good time. You know, is your life kind of getting out of balance? You know, if, and if your spouse and your kids are saying to you all the time, you're always on your phone, you're always on your computer, you're always doing this, where they don't feel like they're getting the time they were getting before, that would be a really red flag. And so, you know, you can ask your family, ask your uh, spouse, ask your kids, say, hey, do you feel like I'm spending too much time? Are you feeling neglected? Things like that. Because I think then we, we've got to look at the things. Are we not doing the things that are really best for us to do? And so is technology taking away from, from your quiet time? Is technology taken away from you know, the other time, like I said, with your kids? Is it taking time from, from a hobby that or something that really is good for you to just to have that, that kind of downtime and something you enjoy doing? So, so I think it's a good time just to evaluate and uh, See where you are with this and do I need to make a change? Has it gotten out of out of balance? Yeah, absolutely. And I love how you mentioned if our our family is kind of telling us like, hey, put your phone down or you're always on your computer, like that's a good marker of, well, this is probably an unhealthy habit. Are there any other kind of markers that are like red flags like, hey, this this isn't okay? Um, I, I think too, I think kind of, we know it. If I look down, you know, when, if I can I get on, like I, mine's the computer where I can get lost. And so if I'm doing stuff and everything and I look down and I think, oh my gosh, an hour passed and I was going to be in here 15 minutes. I mean, you can kind of self-regulate that way too. And, and if you, you know, if, if Nancy's always saying dinner's ready and I hear her say it about 10 times or didn't hear her say it, but she said it 10 times. I mean, just things like that, where you feel like you're not, um, connected with the people that you love and that are around you. Um, and I think people do, I think it happens at work too. I think some people, you kind of get in the habit and sometimes you carry it over. So you're scrolling at your desk when you need to be working. And so, yeah. you know, there's just a lot of things I, times I think I was pulled to, next to a lady at the car uh, yesterday at the stoplight and, you know, she, she was on her phone and, you know, the light turned green and I'm gone and I hear people behind her honking and all this kind of stuff. I mean, she just, got lost in it, which it, it, to me, it was a great example of how easy it is for us to do that. You're driving, you know, people are around you, you know, the light's going to turn green, but 30 seconds after it turns green, you haven't looked up yet. Yeah, definitely. And I think that's a good marker of just like not being aware of like what's going on around you. If you like to look up for a second and realize you're really unaware of something that's been happening for a while over like your kids climbing in the oven and you didn't catch it the first time they opened the oven. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yes, That's never yeah. happened to me. Um, but yeah, I think some other markers of it, it's interesting. I think it's similar to like depression. I think it's mm -hmm. similar to addiction. So I think some markers of unhealthy te tech habits are if you have trouble sleeping, if you have headaches, if you're feeling depressed, if you're extra anxious, um, if you're dealing with a lot of jealousy, envy, and discontentment, I think that comes from the comparing um, side of things when it comes to like seeing what's on social media and things like that. I also think if you're not interested in things that you used to be interested in, that's a sign that maybe you have some tech habits that aren't good. And I think if a huge marker for me is if I'm unsuccessful when I attempt to limit my screen time. So like say I set a limit mm. for myself of only two hours a day on my phone, but if I can't stick to it, that means I have a problem. Like if I can't stick to my own limits that I set in my head or I tell myself, that's that's not good. Um, I think if you if you go to your screen when you're having a bad day to try to make it better, like, oh, I'm having a bad day. I'm just gonna pick up my phone. Like that's not a great sign. I think yeah. if you're if you're not okay sitting like with nothing to do ever, if you feel like every like two free minutes you have, you have to grab your phone. That's not a great sign. Um, and then I think if you if you start and end your day and you feel like you have to start and end your day with your phone, that's probably a, a marker that maybe not some great tech habits are there. 